Mets manager Bobby Valentine is ejected by umpires during a game against the Blue Jays, but he re-enters the dugout incognito. One of the funniest moments I've ever seen in Met history. Piazza, you know, catches the ball, he gets called for catches interference, and Bobby Valentine's, in typical Bobby Valentine fashion, was not happy about the move. He comes out, argues the call, he gets thrown out. And decides he doesn't want to go back and watch the game in the clubhouse, he wants to stay in the dugout. And like two minutes later, all of a sudden there's Magnum P.I. standing in the corner. And it's just just standing there like nobody notices like he's com had a complete face off with John Travolta or Nick Cage. They caught him in the dugout Not, Bobby V doesn't try to hide he knew he was going to get caught on camera. Obviously wasn't fooling anybody. He said he did it to lighten up the team and he, it must have worked because they won in 14 innings that day. I don't think anybody's tried this hard to sneak back into a baseball game since Frank Drebin in The Naked Gun. He had the Groucho Marx nose and mustache and eyeglasses. Oates from Hall & Oates would have been jealous of this mustache. Forget about thinking, let me go out with a disguise. Actually have a disguise ready there and waiting for them. Who does this? I mean, did someone, like, let him borrow that? Did he, like, shave it off perfectly? Did he rip it off someone's lip? Who keeps a mustache in their drawer? I mean, like, what's in his top drawer? Like, you open it up, a fake mustache, and a $100 bill signed by Tony Soprano. What? I love him. I don't know how word didn't get to the umpires that Bobby Valentine was still in the dugout, still in the hallway wearing the mustache and that whole outfit. It's so odd. I mean, there are cameras everywhere. And the whole plate umpire is standing 100 feet away from him. He was like a little kid. He was trying to hide behind the Gatorade cooler. And all of a sudden, they're like, wait, that's the guy we just booted out of the game. And I believe he got in even more trouble. Bobby Valentine in a mustache? That's it, Bobby? Uh, how about a different uniform, maybe stuff a pillow in there, put on a wig of some kind, make us think you're somebody else. Like a fedora on and an overcoat, it would have been more hysterical. Obviously, Bobby had watched a lot of episodes of Superman and knew that a mustache would completely disguise him, much like uh, the glasses would completely disguise uh, Superman when he became Clark Kent. Look, Bobby Valentine is doing what most criminals do. They want to disguise themselves and yet still be in the area. What a great disguise. With that little mustache on, you can't tell who it is. That was not Bobby Valentine who came out of that dugout and sat in, in, in the dugout with a mustache and glasses. No, that was Bobby Valentino. That is the assistant to the assistant of the uh, intern of the general manager. Go Bobby V. The worst disguise I've ever seen in my entire life.